Grade 8. Unit 3. Reading. Page 27. How we live. My dad runs a garage just outside the city. It's the biggest garage in town. It's a family business and my dad is really proud of what he has achieved. All the rich people bring their expensive cars to him to be serviced and repaired. Last year, a mechanic named Don came to work for my dad, but he didn't stay long. Dad's garage is huge. It has three separate workshops and he employs 40 mechanics and over a hundred other staff. It's hard to keep track of all the workers, so Dad employs a foreman named Antonio. He's a short, heavy man, and he moves slowly, but he has a lot of power. His job is to check what the mechanics are doing and to tell them what they're supposed to do. He also pays the men's wages. At first, Don worked hard. He was young, tall, slim, and quick with his hands. He fixed the cars faster and better than anyone. He was a rising star among the mechanics in the workshops. After a while, Don lost interest in his work. That was the beginning of his real trouble. He found a quiet place outside the garage, where no one could see or hear him. He would sit under a tree and spend the day singing to himself instead of working. You like to think I'm working, but I'm not, he sang. After a while, Antonio found out what Don was doing. He set a trap. One morning, before Don arrived at work, he climbed up the tree and waited for Don to arrive. An hour later, Don, as usual, came to sit under the tree. You like to think I'm working, but I'm not. He started singing. All of a sudden, Antonio dropped out of the tree and looked him in the eye. He sang to the same tune Don had used. You like to think I'm going to pay you, but I'm not. And that's how Don lost his job at my dad's garage. Since then he has been jobless.